<laughs> well, phi, the, the letter T in phi is a taxonomy. All, all a taxonomy uh, means is a uh, classification. It's a, it's a classification of things. Classifications are quite important because only if you know what things are like and you know what things, what things are different to each other, what things are similar to each other, how things relate to each other, can you actually use them properly. And what are we trying to use here? Well, what, does tax, what does the taxonomy classify? Well, it, tax, it classifies everything that we um, uh, engage with when we act. It classifies aspects of deciding, of uh, setting purposes, of communicating, of inquiring, uh, of um, engaging with others, of organizing, whatever it is that you might be uh, concerned about in psychosocial activity, psychological activity or social activity, um, the taxonomy has something to say about it. By becoming aware of areas of the taxonomy where you perhaps are having some difficulties, you become freed. Now, one of the things that's important about the taxonomy is that it doesn't tell you what to do. It doesn't tell anybody what to do. The taxonomy is built on the assumptions that we're going to get the best result if you do what's right f for yourself, if you do what's natural for yourself. This requires you to have a degree of freedom, so you have a sense that you can do what you want to do. It requires a sense of responsibility in the sense that, that you want to do something that's actually constructive for yourself and all around. And it requires a de degree of reflection. You need actually to think about what is going on. You need to think about the situation. You need to think about what, what you're doing. You need to think about what others are doing. Taxonomy's framework, the, the taxonomy's frameworks help you do exactly that.